Okay, we're back again for uh, Return to the Cathedral. Let's go ahead and Supreme Ghost some, some Thief Gold. Let's load up the end of Undercover and we'll watch the briefing. I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate in the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm gonna retire in style. Cool. So, our objectives are very brief. It's grab the eye and leave the cathedral area. Obviously, leaving the cathedral is gonna be very difficult. Uh, so that's what we're gonna spend most of the mission trying to do is... Um, as you guys probably know, we have to aid um, Brother Muris in um, gathering some items for him and then he will eventually help us leave. So it's not just grabbing the eye. Um, I have actually been able to Supreme Ghost this mission. That I've never been able to do before, but I have been able to in New Dark. It is not possible in Old Dark still. Um, but this series here is really um, my first attempt at trying to Supreme Ghost in New Dark, and that's the purpose, part of the purpose of the video series. So, um, even though that's never possible to do in Old Dark, I'm still going to end up doing that here in this uh, playthrough. Um, we have to skip one piece of loot. I've been able to improve on the loot amount as well for Supreme, um, but that is not only New Dark. There's one piece of loot that I was never able to take in Old Dark that I've been able to now, but we still have to skip one, so I'll get to those areas. A little bit later. There are two tips that was never included in the mission. They're in the category called unused texts. And the first tip says, the cathedral had numerous mechanical systems. Who knows what state of disrepair they are in now. I can't count on anything working for me. So, you can turn on some of the electrical equipment in the mission. I'm not going to do that because it turns on lights. But it does operate ele elevators, for example. And that's probably what this tip is referring to. And the second tip says, The cathedral was known for having a fountain with healing properties. If things get sticky, that could be of use. And the cathedral we will find pretty early on here. So, we have a lot of equipment, actually, to start with. Of course, the four talismans. Um, three rope arrows, that's always useful for ghosters. None of the other equipment here is really going to be um, of interest to us, and obviously we're not going to buy anything. So let's just start. There. There. Um, the map. There are um, no maps more specific than what we see right now um, outside the cathedral. The cathedral itself uh, is what you see in this close-up. Um, and this is then showing the main floor, the ground floor, where we will enter. So you have a central area, the actual cathedral main um, area in the middle. The eye is found on top of a big hammer statue uh, at the northern end. You have a few side corridors and rooms that are very empty in the beginning. Once we take the eye, there are going to be um, a lot of enemies that are going to wake up and start patrolling. That is not considered a bust for Ghost or Supreme. Uh, unless we get caught, 
during the process, and we can't do that, so we won't we won't get caught. We can see the alert levels change from the scripted uh, awoken state to an alerted state if we are caught. Um, there's also the exit, the back exit from the from the from the cathedral is here, and then there's a staircase that goes up to actually three upper levels, I believe. Uh, oh, there's three levels in the yeah in the upper area first, then there's a basement also below. Um, patrollers do um, go between three of the levels, not the top one. Um, and uh, when we exit here, we'll get out the back entrance here and then there's a couple of different environments that we can visit later on but there are no specific um, maps for those. Senora's is the dormitory and that is probably the building that needs a map more than anything else. Um, especially the upper floor can be kind of confusing. St. Tenor's is a smelting factory um, and there's a backyard here as well. There's a cemetery where we'll spend some time later on. St. Vale's is a library and a scriptorium and uh, St. Genel's is sort of a multi-purpose building. It has um, some confession booths, it has a dining area above, and then there's also some winter tunnels underneath, some storage areas that actually connect several parts of the compound here, where the entrance is in this building. Um, and this general area here, which is called the Cloister, is um, heavily patrolled. I think there's seven patrollers so that's going to be difficult. There's also some patrollers in this general area, in the garden, and in, at St. Yoras, there's, there's a few. Um, but the cathedral is pretty empty until we take the eye. So I'm going to do as much as possible before taking the eye. Uh, you can do the challenging route and take the eye right away and then deal with things afterwards, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a few things uh, and loot as much as I can and get things ready before we get to the eye. That'll just serve the purpose of this video a little bit better. So, you are the turn with the Tannis Mountains of Claraman. I did not think it likely that you would succeed. So, all the doors close automatically, which I actually don't like, because I always close the doors anyway after me. So if doors close before I want it to, then they can actually alert other or, uh, or other enemies in the area. Uh, warning, great evil resides in this place, and it is no longer fit for men. The doors are sealed uh, to protect us from that which lies within. Do not remain here. Well, we are going to remain here for a little bit. These doors, double doors, take us straight into the... <clears throat> main cathedral, and uh, they're pickable. But I like to minimize pickpockets, so I'm not going to go in there. Though these be perhaps the final moments of our beloved cathedral and mine mortal life, I shall faithfully chronicle to the end. A great evil magic hath befallen us, and we battle with demon kind on all sides. Our own fallen brethren rise from death and turn on us, cold light aflame in their eyes. Our mighty doors availed us not, for the assault was from within. Soon I shall be found and slain, like the others. May the builders save our souls. So there are no patrollers on this floor right now in the outside areas. This elevator doesn't work now. We're not going to need it to work. Um, I'm going to show you one thing before I <sighs> move on. really. So this is the main cathedral. There's one stationary hammer haunt and then there are two patrolling ones just beyond the sleeping zombie you see. You also saw a patrolling zombie on the other side on the second level. That's all there is to worry about on this floor. There's some more stuff in the basement. You can see the eye floating over there. This door right here is pickable. Um, I'm obviously not going to end up going in here because I got alerted there, but I just want to get a readable here. There's nothing else to worry about. 
When attending public services, some members of the congregation hath made entry through the cloister gate. The proper way for the public to access the grounds is through the cathedral gate. Access to the city via the cloister gate doth exist for the convenience of members of the order only. So that lock I'm not going to pick, and um, I'm also not going to... I'm also not going to get that readable for reasons that I'll explain a little bit later. This is the entrance to the bell tower, and this lock we have to pick. We need to get in here to get some loot. So here we've got a goblet worth uh, 15. There is also a readable here. Brother Gerard, the behavior we hath repeatedly seen exhibited is truly most troublesome. The eye hath been moved once again to the vault in the cellar. This eve, please you post two sentinels to guard it. Thus we shall determine how it is that we find it floating over the high altar each morning. That is strange. Now there is a piece of loot up here. And in Old Dark I had to stack some items. Oh, you can actually mantle up all the way. There's a necklace worth 200 total, 215. There. We're gonna head out this way. I didn't think that I would be... ...safe here, but I can't... Now I'm crouch creep strafing. That doesn't change your light gem at all. There's a sleeping zombie behind the haunt there. Another one here, and then there's two patrolling haunts. And then there's a third sleeper, sleeper over here. Here is the healing font that was talked about. There's also a holy water vial in here. See what I mean? I don't like that, but anyway. So here's the eye, obviously. That jar is worth 50 total, uh, 265. Here's a readable. I mislike the wisdom that so many of the mechanical systems in the compounds doth reply on the proper functioning of the machine room in the cathedral cellar. Our enemies might attempt sabotage, turning our short sight against us. Let us set about re-engineering such that each mechanical system is powered by more local equipment. That sounds smart. Okay, so I did not want him to catch me, obviously. There's two gold candlesticks down here. So now we're on the western side of the bottom floor again. I didn't want to go in through this door because uh, you have to pick it. And I want to avoid that lockpick. <sighs> I thought he had left uh, uh, the opposite direction. Uh, 
Get a hammer here. With 75. Total 440. Alright, now we're going to end up having to go up to the top level. A few items to pick up there. We're going to have to use a rope to do that. that's it yep good okay now we are above the bell tower basically so we can see down it sort of in this there are two water arrows which we don't need we don't need to pick up any equipment or weapons of any kind and we can't either There's a diamond here worth 100. Total 540. This one we also have to pick. So when we Supreme Ghost, you guys know, we can't take any first alerts. That is the biggest difference between Supreme Ghost and regular Ghost. It can lead to a lot of problems. Okay. So in here you have a jar worth 50, total 590. Um, and we have a body. And that body we actually are going to end up bringing somewhere else later on. So since I'm up here, I might as well just bring it along. It's Brother Martello. The problem here is that the door closes on their own. I don't think it actually... There are two bodies that we have to put in a grave later on in the mission. There's one more in the basement. I guess when I'm carrying this body, the doors aren't that big of a deal. I don't want to cross that beam up there. I want to do this. There we got caught. They see me so quickly here, so this is going to take a few tries.
place that opens in. <laughs> Is a gold goblet worth uh, 25 total 615 and this chest is pickable and it has a ring worth 100 trust me it really does help that we can do a lot before taking the eye uh, you have to utilize things like that for supreme there's the ring This place can be a little bit tough to get past, actually. All the zombies will wake up and all the haunts will change their patrol route and that stationary guy will start patrolling once you take the eye. There's also an apparition that's going to spawn. And the zombie is going to change his patrol as well. They all will end up having the same patrol route. And it basically covers the entire cathedral complex. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm safe here. This door is locked, that's the armory. And this one has, I think, a moss arrow. Yep. There's some crates here as well. Uh, in Old Dark, in order to leave the mission for Supreme, you needed two crates. Uh, and this is where I took him from. <coughs> but we're not going to use that method. <coughs> Second floor, we can drop down here pretty easily. So, we're obviously going to leave the premises now without taking the eye, so we're going to get a remark from the eye when we do that. Where are you going? Have you come all this way only to leave me as I fall within your grasp? Okay, so we are now uh, in the area just uh, outside the back entrance to the cathedral. This is a garden area. There is one water arrow in a fountain or a pool down there, but there's nothing else of interest. There's one apparition that only patrols this uh, region. There's also, I think, two zombies and one haunt that patrols St. Yora's, the dormitory, and comes outside and goes down in this area. But they are, they have a longer patrol, so we... So I think you can see one of them coming there. We have to head down to the right at this point. I ended up removing the, whole, all, the all the updated plants and vegetations um, from the HD packs from both Necroage and the HD mod. Uh, these stairs have seen better days. They were just so different from the originals that I didn't like them anymore. So I'm going to drop Martella <coughs> here. And I'm going to go check something. Good. There is a haunt that has a tendency of getting stuck inside. That was St. Genel's. If he falls down to the elevator, then you have to kill him later on. That's one of the objectives. 
So you can't do that without alerting other people. And I've seen him get stuck two or three times. So I'm gonna go check on him pretty regularly here. Okay, so there's a lot of activity here, obviously. Now we have to head in. Or have to, at least I want to. Head into St. Genel's. And we are going to make two keys in there that we will end up needing. Or no, we have to we have to make one key and a and a hammer. Step one, position one of the molds on the four pegs in front of the smelting cauldron. Step two, push the left lever back to close the mold. Step three, pull the right lever forward to tip the cauldron. When the gauge on the wall indicates that the mold is full, tip the cauldron back up by pushing the right lever back. Step four, put the left lever forward to open the mold, remove the newly manufactured item. Praise the or builder be praised. So we are gonna end up needing this one. This is the wine cellar key. Now, there is a door in the basement uh, of the cathedral that leads to the other body that we need, and some loot. You can pick that lock open, but you still have to lock it for Supreme, which is why I need this key. So I might as well just get that right now, since I'm going to cover that floor in a little bit. That was very loud. Those those metal clunks are not good. That is good. That's better. And we need this one. I'm really here to make the key, but since we're here, we might as well make the other item that we're going to use later on, too. There are haunts that position themselves right outside this doorway. It's a holy symbol. Good there, I'm gonna make a lot of real saves here. There's also a piece of loot upstairs in this building that I'm gonna go ahead and take right now. Wow. <laughs> I did 
know that he was stationed there, so we're gonna have to wait. I don't think there are any areas to wait in there, so we're just gonna have to wait here then. All these patrollers have the same routes, and those routes go all over the cloister area inside all the buildings. So it's pretty unfortunate that most of them are here now. That all of them are here now. Okay, there's those two zombies that has to leave. This is one of the more difficult missions, but it's not super tough if you if you have a few tricks. <sighs> I can get up there. fire arrows in this room. So you're gonna end up killing haunts later on. Fire arrows are pretty useful for that. And there's a silver nugget worth 50. again. Strange I didn't get caught there, but I did. So now we are going to go back to the cathedral and clean the basement, and then we are ready to... to take the eye. But what's, what's good about doing it this way, I'm going to check down here again. good about doing it this way is that all we have to do once we take the eye is leave. Literally, that's that's the only thing we need to do. Two patrollers down here, one apparition and one zombie. Now, the Wine cellar key, we don't have to return because we made it. 
Uh, there's nothing in the rules against making objects if you can. Um, so here is uh, the wine cellar. Uh, one bottle of wine here, and I think there's two more on this side, so three in total. At 9.15. This is the other body we need, Brother Renault. <coughs> so we're going to grab his body right now. And now we have to sort of, in a clockwise fashion, make our way around... this area. <coughs> Here there's a trap, I believe. What? Is there? I thought so. <coughs> there's one gold candlestick and there's another one over there. And there's um, two water arrows between the barrels there. Maybe it's in here, there's a trap, I'm not sure. I thought that was one. Was it worth 50 each? Total, 1,015. Make noise in the water here. Silver nuggets, one, two, three, four, five copper stacks, three silver stacks. Silver stacks were, were 36, copper stacks 25, and the two nuggets 100, total 1176. I don't think any patrollers come down this way. light in here, but... Uh, this is just a storage room. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bathroom. We can turn on the lights down here, but... Why on earth would you want to? <laughs> We're going to leave this guy right outside the back entrance. And then after we've taken the eye... <coughs> we're bring him along. I just want to check that I locked the wine cellar. I did. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay. <coughs> now, luckily, there are no patrollers that spawn outside the cathedral when <coughs> you take the eye. It's only in here. But there's one that spawn and everybody else starts patrolling. <coughs> I don't think anybody will see him. the eye. This presents the ghost challenge for me. Uh, not regarding the eye, but uh, remember the room up there in the northeast corner of the second floor, the middle floor? Um, there was a readable. I want you guys to be able to get in there 
uh, and read that and come back down to this location uh, without busting Supreme before taking the eye. So the way the situation is now. So get in there, read the, the scroll, come back down here without busting Supreme. So you can't obviously then pick the lock on the door. That is not an option. So that wouldn't bust Supreme, but not by doing that either. So let's see if you guys can do that. I haven't had too many people try or at least post or upload results for my challenges. So I don't know if you guys enjoy those, but I'm going to keep doing them. If I find good challenges, I'll, I'll keep adding them to my, to my videos. So anyway, let us make a real save. And then we're going to get to the eye. Now we have to make sure that we don't trigger anybody to... Um, hunt modes that wouldn't already spawn in hunt mode. There are a couple of things that are going to happen once we take the eye. All the zombies will wake up, and I think they have a point that they're all supposed to meet at. I think that is just uh, south of this statue here, of the altar. They all, Some of them run over there, and a few of the zombies sometimes go into hunt mode for like two seconds just as a natural scripted response. The haunts should not go into hunt mode, second level hunt mode, if we're not spotted. But if they see you even for a fraction of a second, they will. So we have to make sure that we are as stealthy as possible here. The best method that I've found to do this is as follows. I want to make sure I shoot this as high up as I can and still be able to retrieve it. From below. Let's try that. There. So we want to do that without getting spotted by them. In the air, you can get spotted. But not once you're up there, you won't get spotted. Actually, we have to wait for that zombie to be on his way back, because he will see us if he comes out of that door heading north. We want to make sure that he is not in the vicinity here. Let's try that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to jump back onto the rope, and in mid-air I want to turn around and grab the eye. And then i got to face back onto the rope so I land on it. without getting a first alert from these guys. I actually think that would have been the perfect time here to do it. Let's see if I can replicate that scenario there. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Like that, and grabbing it. Well done, thief. Now that you have attained your prize. Skin. See, he runs over to that area, so does he. And then there's, okay. See those two zombies there? They always do that. 
that is a scripted thing. They didn't see me. I was dark all the time. And this is not, we're good. Nobody saw us there. All this is scripted. The fact that they settle after one second shows that it's just scripted and they have nothing to, to fuel that alert level with. We have the first objective. Okay. Now we're gonna leave. And now let's read this. A novice passing the cemetery yester eve said he saw a strange glowing figure walking therein, but upon investigating found that the apparition had vanished. Those who heard his story laughed and blamed his vision on an excess of ale, but I am not so quick to dismiss it. I remember the burial of our beloved brother Murus last week, and the feeling that something was wrong. I shan't relate the story to brother Martello, since he was much attached to brother Murus, and mourns his loss still. Good. So now we're actually going to meet brother Murus. Out here. Oh, he was upstairs. He wasn't downstairs. There's such a heavy patrol here. I'm dumb of me to forget. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. There we go. Let's listen to Brother Muris. Welcome to the majestic and splendid Hammer Cathedral. How pleasing to welcome new initiates into our fold. I am Brother Muris, and I will be thy spiritual guide. 
I see that thou art tired from your journey, so I'll leave thee be. But if thou needst my help, I can be found down in the cloister. into some trouble, hmm? And from the looks of thee, I'd say thou art used to trouble. Well, I can help thee escape this desolate place, if thou wilt help me with something, since thou clearly camest here to collect things, thou can start by collecting some things from me. All brothers have rosary beads, so thou'lt need some too. Thou canst borrow mine. I think I left them in my room. I remember that it was so nice to look out over the fountain in the garden. So, be a good lad and bring me my rosary. Okay. So now we have got an additional objective here. Aid the ghost of Brother Muris in order to escape. So, what this basically means is that everything that Muris directly tells us to do, it's as if it's in the objective list. And remember that for Supreme, you are allowed to bust or violate a rule if it directly follows the objectives. So now basically our objective is saying that anything Muris tells us is also an objective. And that'll come into play a little bit later. I'm gonna check. Still safe. So we have to now get his rosary beads. This is St. Yoras. We're gonna do that. This is sort of the a meeting room or something like that. Two stationary zombies here. There's a healing potion. I there's interest in reading this. The priest shall no longer doubt their decision to give me allowance to convert the unused storage room in the winter tunnels into an alchemy laboratory. This day may my research hath yielded much, as I have created a most useful explosive device. It is my belief that in times of war we will be able to use such explosives to force open the gates of the strongholds of our foes. The device is quite dangerous, so I have stored it in the armory in the cathedral attic. That is useful to know. Two stationary zombies here that we have to avoid the gaze of. Let's go into the kitchen. In here there is a gold plate, and there is a gold goblet. There's also a fire arrow up here that we don't need. We have total 1251 at this point. safe. On this altar there are three water arrows. This is a little bit of a tough floor. Tough to navigate. There's a purse in there. That's awesome. Okay, this is a very tough environment to go through, so just took a purse worth 100. And if you remember what he said, his room, there was a window that he could look out over the garden. Uh, 
that's this window. So that means we're in his old room. So there's probably something in this chest then. So they hear the lockpicks. safe in here. Don't think about that. in it, but or not. We need to get down there so I have a clear path here pretty much. There's one piece of loot here that we cannot get, that you can get in Old Dark. Not for Supreme, but you can get it for Ghost. So I'll show that to you, and explain how you can get it in Old Dark, but there's no way you can get it in New Dark because it doesn't work in Thief 2, and New Dark basically plays Thief Gold on Thief 2, or in the Thief 2 engine. Now we're on the opposite side of where the... We have to wait for him to go through. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. In this alcove here, there's a gold plate right behind this zombie. And um, in Old Dark, you can lean out and get a first alert from that guy, from that zombie, and he will make a quick little pivot as a result of the first alert. And as he does his pivot, you can stick your hand in there and grab the plate. But he doesn't do that anymore in Old Dark. <sighs> I don't think you could mantle over those boulders in Old Dark either. But I'm going to use the features that New, Dark's, New Dark enables me to, to use. I'm not going to exploit anything, but Old Dark and New Dark are different in some ways. So what I think, I want to try to trigger all of the audio or verbal cues from him. So I am going <coughs> to drop the holy symbol. What a wonderful looter thou art. Thou hast found my rosary. I have some other things for thee to do as well. I needs for thou to get a holy symbol. This place is not as holy as it once was, I'm afraid, so thou might have a hard time finding one. Thou canst always make one for thyself in the tenor factory. We do it all the time and praise the builder for his works. Then grab this, he will spawn right next to us, I think. Yeah. Excellent. With that holy symbol, thou art truly a novice of the order. 
confound it, I seem to have misplaced my prayer book. Novice, please go get it for me. It's called the Prayer of Consecration. I don't have any idea where I was last reading it. <laughs> so he doesn't... Okay, that's pretty straightforward, at least he's honest. He has no idea. But a book is probably found in the library, right? Which is basically St. Vale's. So um, it's not too big of a mystery there. This is the cloister, then. Let's head in and check. Oh, he was behind me. I heard his noises and I thought that he was stuck there. Okay, they are... This is a longer but a much safer route. this. Kindle, thou art a, na a naive novice at times. The craftsmanship of the holy symbol thou hast created is not flawed. Thy problem is that a mere initiate such as thyself cannot perform the blessing that implores the builder to transform thy symbol from simple metal into a holy artifact. I would suggest thou, thou ask one of the priests to bless thy holy symbol for you, or it'll be of no use. If thou art embarrassed, thou couldst visit, visit the observatory at the top of the tower in St. Genel's. Talk to Brother Renault. He knows of another way to instill holy symbols with the Builder's Blessing. So, I didn't know that he was going to turn around like that. So let us... Here we are safe. You see an altar in there, in a nearby room, there is a healing potion on the floor in there. prayer book. Uh, there's only one thing to read here, but the prayer book is right around the corner. Prayer of Consecration. So we're going to read that later on. I'm pretty sure I'm safe here. We're going to read that later on, so I won't read it now. 
now. We're gonna head back now and give that to to Muras. This is the exit point to the winter tunnels and there are three water arrows in here. Then I'm for sure gonna make a real save, and we know for sure that this one is safe. All the real saves are are good now. Who would have thought back then that an unsavory character such as thyself could be my salvation? Thank thee for getting that book for me. I need to find a candle I used when I was still alive. The last time I remember using a candle is the night of my death. I was in the workyard, where the well is. My personal possessions were hidden, but I think the candle is back there still. In the workyard. Okay. What? It's through this gate. So we've now covered St. Vale's, we've been to St. Tenor's, St. Yoras. So really, when we're now going to go to the workyard, the only place we haven't been to is St. Genel's in the Winter Tunnels, besides the cemetery. <laughs> Problem is that they can hear that gate open and close. supposed to, but <gasps> you can do it. Otherwise you have to go through St. Genel's and that's very annoying. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> this is the workyard. There's nothing in the shed itself, but There's a purse worth 100 and the candle. <gasps> the 
They do come up here too and turn around right before the gate. safe down here in the shade. That is the candle I was using to see the night I died. It will do for our needs. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. Meet me at my grave in the cemetery. Okay, so then we need the cemetery key. That isn't an objective, because it's not directly stated by him. Take it without busting Supreme, that's good. And we have to return that key later on. What? to head into the St. Generals. Isn't there a, a haunt in there now? I thought so, yeah. Always difficult getting in there, and we have to go in there. What is it? Three times? Uh, Two or three times? Once to get the cemetery key, once to bless the holy symbol, and then once to return the key. I think. coins in here. Uh, Nobody comes in here, but we have to listen to the door. Uh, this isn't going too bad. Hasn't been any real hiccups. The biggest problem, really, is to kill the haunts later on because you can't alert anybody else or the haunt you're killing as you're killing it. Just use a uh, rope arrow. That's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> this zombie is strange because he is stationary, 
But he's facing straight into a pillar by the... Uh. By the... Um, stairs there. There's a vase behind him worth 50. And there is the cemetery key right here. Something else downstairs, but we we don't need to get there right now. <laughs> now we're gonna head to the cemetery. We have to bring Brother Renault. At least I want to. That's to say, save a little bit of backtracking. difficult to get out of St. Daniels as well. I would probably be able to if I'm a little bit quicker here. That's the good thing about the doors closing. I guess I'm, I've convinced myself that the doors closing is not really that bad. We know now that we are good. Nobody's stuck. Renault. Oh, maybe that was an alert. I'm not sure. I can't tell the alerts for the apparitions. After all these years of playing thief, that was an alert. Zombies are pretty easy. There's three patrollers here, I think. We want to leave Brother Renault by his grave. And I can't exactly remember where that grave is, but it says. Of course, all the patrollers are right where I am. How? Oh, four. Okay. All four of them are right where I am. How convenient. Yeah, you go that way, too. Here. 
here. Seventy five. And then this is Brother Muras. Now I see Brother Muras is now way over here. Which I have seen some. Let us begin, my friend. Wave the rosary over my tombstone. Wave the rosary over the tombstone. I think he, he appears over here. Now place the candle on my tombstone. Uh, read the prayer of consecration. Okay, we can hear him at least. That's what I wanted to. I've seen that several times before. He's been all over the place a few times. Master Builder, we ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days, and look with favor on his works in thy name. Plum and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. Okay. So now we got that cue. We have to bless the holy symbol. Now is the big question. When I come back here, that's when there has been a hammer that has gotten stuck. That's always when I see it. Oh no. Well, then we just have to wait for him to come out. Awesome. These are the confession booths I talked about. There's one that's interesting, and we'll do that later. Uh, isn't there something here? Yes, there's a moss arrow. Two moss arrows. Three moss arrows. Next to the altar. And this is the observatory entrance. We're going to have to pick that lock. There's a moss arrow and a fire arrow on the steps. And up here. Lunar pool. Let's read this. The master builder doth surely gaze favorably upon our crusade to subjugate the wild forces of nature with tools built in his name. 
Here in this tower, with these optic machines, I have learned much about the movements of the lights the Builder has set above. The divine power of the moon and stars hath been focused into a pool of water, which I named the Lunar Pool. I had hoped the water would show the same properties as holy water, but it doth not. However, it must hold the Builder's grace, for it doth bestow the Builder's blessing upon holy symbols immersed in the pool. I shall investigate this further, drawing forth knowledge for the glory of the Builder. Brother Renault. Good. So then I assume if we put the holy symbol in it, we get a blessed holy symbol in return. Then that we should be able to use in the cemetery, and now we can bring Brother Martello. So it doesn't really add any time spent. Unfortunately, we can't lock block. Ooh. We can't lock block the cemetery doors because they close on their own. If so, we would have been able to return the cemetery key at this point, but we can't do that. Just for safe measures, I want to wait until those horns get out. Or that haunt, I can't remember how many were in there. This is such a dark area that we are safe, I believe, without any first alerts, even carrying somebody. Not sure if we're safe doing this. Kind of don't think we are. <coughs> we are. Perfect. Hello, we can leave over here. 
that, and then we can finally... Now, Brother Mira should be back to where he's supposed to be. If we're able to come back now to the cloister area and no haunt is stuck or have fallen down, then we are good because that's when we are gonna kill them. I do not know who thou art, but by thy hand I can finally depart this earth and go to the Builder's home. It is only fitting that I reward thee. In the winter tunnels beneath the cloister, seek thee a room with a mural on one of the walls. In the upper right-hand corner of this mural, spy out a hidden button. Press that button. Thou hast what thou wilt find there, and my full thanks. Farewell. Please bury Brother Martello. He died in the cathedral attic. So we already got his body. It does seem like an opportune time to go, so I'm gonna go for it. Uh. thing. These haunts who inhabit the bodies of my brethren, they must all be killed. Okay, that is a pretty straightforward directive. These haunts must all be killed. Kill all of the hammer haunts and return here for thy reward. Oh, I went the wrong way. Kill all of the hammer haunts and return here for thy reward. Now I think we should be able to kill one. He's here by himself. Yep. 
I'm going to have to bring that body along with me because I want to put them all where I put the other bodies earlier. So that's one. We've killed one out of four here. If you can isolate the haunts in here, in this little alley, that's actually the best place to be. Oh. He didn't see me. And that's an alert from the gate. Yeah, so that means we can return the cemetery key because we can trigger his final response as we are closing the gate, or getting close to the gate, rather. We don't have to open up that. We're good. Perfect. Okay, so we have killed one out of four here right now. Now the best place to kill them actually out here if nobody else is around. But that can be a tough ask. Or at, at St. Gemma's. We gotta just observe and then see when an opportunity presents itself, I think. I don't know if he actually caught me in the act there. I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit more. Good. Nobody heard that. Two.
Okay, if we can isolate him in there now. good is that the more we kill, the less trafficated this area becomes. Because there's only two other zombies and one or two apparitions, I think. I go in there first. <gasps> we are safe here, I know. Actually not. No, this isn't a good place to kill him because the other zombies in there also have to be avoided then. It's better out here. down. I think there's only one apparition. Uh, this is a little bit of a waiting game. But that's okay. That's totally okay. Uh, you guys are used to nothing less. Please. 
Four down, five to go. The three in the cathedral are usually the biggest problem. <clears throat> because there's very few areas that you can kill them without alerting anybody else. I would say at least the first one or two there. again. Now we're going to go down to the Winter Tunnels. This is the only entrance to the Winter Tunnels that doesn't require an elevator. And since we don't want to turn on the elevators, this has got to be our exit and or entrance and exit point. Because this used to be an elevator. There is a patrolling zombie. So what I do sometimes is I pull up a, an arrow, not a fire arrow, but any other arrow. Uh, if you are in a perfect shadow, then your light dem should not even flicker when you pull up an arrow. That's why I think this is a safe corner here. I think we need to go, I haven't memorized these halls completely, but I think we need to go where that guy is. There's one haunt down here, and there's two pieces of loot. chest in the back corner there is a holy water vial. I'm not gonna need that. Here, that should we should be perfectly safe. Silver nugget worth 50 and diamond worth 100, right? 2001. There's a holy water 
no, yeah, in the chest and then healing potion here. So there's one other area that Brother Renault talked about once we placed this body. There's a secret room that you can end find by pushing a button in the top right corner, he said, of a mural. We don't need to go to that area of the tunnels, but I just want to show it to you real quick. find um, four water arrows, I believe, in this one. Holy water vial. You can find two moss arrows and a mine. And a few other a few other useless items, junk items. No need to pick up that, so we're just going to go ahead and leave. There's one haunt we have to kill at St. Yora's, but that we actually can do in the area outside. But before we do that, we're going to get the piece of loot that I talked about in the confession booth. Now, this is a difficult one to get. Um, it has a weird system that I don't really know how it operates fully. But um, this one I recently found out you can actually take uh, for Supreme. Both an old dark and new dark. Um, and there's a zombie in there that will leave and make a little patrol out and turn around and go back in. That's a scripted event as we get closer to the booth. So that is not a bust. He will leave the door open and he will face this direction usually. What we want is for him to be positioned inside the room. And I don't know if there's a 100% predictable way to do that, but I'm, I have found something that I think works. He didn't position himself far enough in to the room. A little bit more he has to come. far out, which is what we want. just have to try this until he is positioned better. Weird. 
This will definitely take some tries, so... Occasionally, he hardly walks out the door at all. He just, you know, takes half a step and then turns around. I don't know if that was it, but... That looks better. That looks a lot better. good enough. I can't remember exactly how I did it. Uh... in the open. giving up on this one until I get it, just so you guys know. So, if this takes a while, it's fine. There, he was pretty quick at turning, but he didn't. Further to go further in than that, buddy. There. No. I don't know what's happened. I've done this both on New Dark and Old Dark, so I'm gonna do it.
That sounded pretty good. There we go. That's it. Don't know what I did there, but that's it for sure. I'm gonna be able to get it now. We have to leave the door in an open position because that's the way the zombie left it. There we go. Good. 2076. That is the maximum loot for this mission. That is 50 under the max for the mission. Because we can't take that last gold plate. <laughs> and then he saw me. there. <laughs> We've got four haunts left to kill. Well, maybe we can wait for him to get in here, then. <sighs> okay, maybe we can't go that way. That We probably can't. around there, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, well let's wait here and we'll see if it's
The best thing is actually to kill him in there, because there's a couple places we can do that. But if he comes back out here by himself, then we can probably do it too. I just don't know if he will. What? through this room occasionally Oh, we also forgot to return the cemetery key. That we can do after we have killed those three haunts. <gasps> and of course those zombies have to be here. I found a few areas that that were useful. Actually. Are 
you'll save time and then... Let's see. They obviously need to be isolated, but they have random points on their routes where they can turn around. The wine cellar key and the holy water symbol. Prayer book, we were instructed to pick up, and the rosary beads as well, so we don't have to return those because they're objectives. The cemetery key we need to return. It's all the zombies that is the problem because they alert. It's only one apparition and the, the haunts will. Okay, here's all three. Safe here. I'm gonna save and try. Uh, uh, Might actually be an opportunity here. This, okay, I can't even walk on the surface. Gotcha. Then I'm gonna have to just drop.
usually like to save them in here. Good. <clears throat> he didn't alert to me hitting him because um, they usually make a gasp as they do that. Plus, I was far away. I was. If you lean and you uh, reach them with the furthest strike or the, the tip of your strike, then you're good. So, of course, they make a gasp when they die, but they usually make a gasp right before they die if they detect you. So, if you can't detect that they've seen you, then you're good. anybody else in this room. Come on over here, you. I would like you to come in here. There he saw me. So there you could see he stopped because he saw me. So that's different. that we've gotten them all. <clears throat> awesome. That is really the same time. And now we have to return to Muris. So I also now want to, on my way there, drop off the cathedral key. I should have done that earlier. 
So the apparitions have a uh, sort of a sound they make that sounds like they're saying what, but that's not. It's just part of their idle chatter. I think a lot of the sounds that they make are actually human voices reversed. this key back without alerting the zombie. Otherwise that would be sad. There. <laughs> you can't place it back in the chest, so when you can't, you don't have to. That was not good. After all these years, I would be a little patient and actually do. What is necessary to do? So now we get caught by him, so let's not do that. Thou has been a great help to me, friend, and I owe thee great thanks. I wish I could give thee the key to the cloister gate, but that is not. So the armory key is now suspended in thin air, right where he was, and that accesses the armory in the cathedral attic that I, I pointed out the door to that. In there you can find an explosive charge and two fire arrows to light it, and then a scroll that instructs how to use it. And we can't get that from here, but we don't need it, so... Good to leave, actually. What? Awesome. Um, I am going to just for the sake of being complete here. I'm gonna... I won't save, but I will just show you and so I can read that. I 
mistake of being complete. Let's read that. Explosive charge, two fire arrows. Beware, this object is a powerful explosive device. Only authorized demolitions personnel should employ it. Place close to the target gate or portcullis. Trigger the device with fire. Take adequate cover before detonating. Note, this, the explosion is not, suf not of sufficient power to destroy walls. Be sure to target gates and other weak structures. Good. Then we are good to leave here. Now, in Old Dark. <sighs> Let me just show you. I said that you needed a couple of crates. So you need two crates right by that one of these pillars to mantle up onto this um, awning or little walkway here. And you get a, have to bring one crate with you in the mantle. That is possible but difficult. <laughs> And then you can use one crate that you bring with you and get up onto the top roof. But you have to leave the other crate behind in Old Dark and one you have to bring with you. So you can't return those crates and that's ultimately the bust for Supreme. In New Dark you can get away with only one crate because you can mantle directly up on this uh, tree and then jump from there onto the uh, top of the, the first roof and then bring the second or the first crate, the only crate you need up onto the top roof. But you still can't return that crate, so that is still a supreme bust. So there's another way in New Dark to exit the mission. And that is by mantling over the cloister gate. Now you can't do that here. At least I haven't found a way to do that. Where I have found a way to do that is over here. Oh. Oh. Has to be precise. There it is. Successful Supreme Ghost run of Return of the Cathedral. I know that that last move there is only possible uh, in New Dark and only if New Mantle is uh, checked off. But like I said, this is a run that is supposed to be done in New Dark and showcase what, you know, if the missions can be ghosted in New Dark. If you don't feel that is appropriate to do, then you can say I'm exploiting New Dark and, and that this isn't a Supreme run. Uh, but I'm pretty open and, and I admit the fact that it's not possible in Old Dark still. I would never claim an Old Dark Supreme Ghost run of this mission. So, um, I'll give this mission a 92%. I think it is number four, uh, the fourth best mission, I think, in this game. Uh, behind the Sword, behind uh, Crags Left Prison, and behind Song of the Caverns. It's a very good mission. Let's go through the stats first. One hour, 40 minutes, nine seconds. Found 2,076 loot out of 2,126, so we skipped the golden plate at St. Yoras behind the stationary zombie there. It can be taken in Old Dark for Ghost, but not for Supreme, and in New Dark you can't take it for either mode. Locks picked five, and those were all necessary. Backstabs nine, that's the nine uh, haunts. Knockout zero, damage dealt 270, that is um, nine times 30 which is required to kill a hunt. Damage taken zero, healing taken zero, innocents killed none, and others killed nine. Campaign totals, time so far, 14 hours, uh, 25 minutes, no, 56 minutes, 57 seconds. Loot so far, 28,
1,225. Total damage dealt, 298, and received zero. So, it, this mission probably isn't ranked as high as it would be for other people. It's, um, it's one of the missions that you remember from the game. It is such a classic mission. Um, it sort of culminates the entire story of the talisman, so now you finally are able to get your prized eye. Of course, a lot of things are going to change in the story in the upcoming cutscenes before the mission escape. Um, so, the, the, that part of the story sort of ends here, and the end game commences uh, next. Um, I, I do share, though, the sentiment that some people have where Brother Muris is really not necessary, I feel. I, I think they could have implemented um, the aid or, or the person that you are helping in a little bit of a different way, in a less friendly way, because he makes the whole mission uh, less scary, and it's supposed to be a scary mission. It's supposed to be an intimidating, uh, you know, a mission without a lot of open areas. It's very confined, and it's supposed to feel like that, like the walls are, are almost closing in on you, around you. Um, it's not, you know, physically, it's not a very big mission, but it has a lot packed in a small area, and that I like. I like that. It's different from some of the other ones in Deep Cold. Um, but overall, the atmosphere, the uh, the ambiance, the, the feel of dread, and um, you know, loss and, and desolation is there, but it's taken away a lot by Brother Muris. So I don't think that that was a good choice, at least not in the way it was implemented. I would even have appreciated just, you know, um, just the voice without the actual visual aid of him, <clears throat> or some other kind of visual aid, except for a, a you know, it looks like a friendly person. So anyway, I'm, I'm going on about that. doesn't really matter. So, uh, next, we have Escape. Um, so I'm hoping to get that one out as well today um, for you guys. So uh, I'll see you back for that mission. We're going to make a save again. And um, thank you for supporting my channel. Leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe if you want. I always appreciate feedback, so thank you very much and have a good night. Bye-bye.